Hello friends. Today we are going to read Inku Chomps, Gobbles and Slurps. The author is Raji Sundar Krishnan. The illustrator is Febin Raj and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Inku Chomps, Gobbles and Slurps. So who is Inku? Inku seems to be this bright and colorful bird here. And what is she doing? Chomps, gobbles, and slurps. Those are all different forms of eating. Chomping is when you are biting something with your teeth very hard, a lot. Gobbles is to eat something very fast without biting it well. And Slurp. Slurp is when you are sucking something in and swallowing it without needing to bite it. So let's see what is inku, chomping, gobbling and slurping. Inku peeps out of a narrow slit in the tree trunk. She is a great hornbill born just a week ago. Swoosh, swoosh, pa lands softly on their tree. So here are Inku and her father and these are great hornbills. Great hornbills are a kind of bird that are really big and usually very colorful. There are different types of hornbills. The great hornbill is just one type. Are these for me to play with? Asks Inku. No, these are figs. Eat them up, says Pa. Gum, gum, num, num. So plump and juicy with crunchy wasps inside, says Inku. So Pa, the father of Inku, has brought Inku some figs to eat and sounds like some of the figs have wasps inside and Inku eats them too and she says they are plump and juicy and the wasps are crunchy. Pa has grown a tail on his bill, says Inku. Wow! Don't cry, dear Inku, says Ma. It's just a lizard. Chomp, chomp. Oh, it's scaly. So here in this picture, you can see both Inku and her mother and her father has brought them a lizard to eat and Inku thinks, what is this thing with a tail and her mother says that it's just a lizard and it feels scaly to eat and Inku chomps it down. My food has wings, laughs Inku. Bats are my favorite, says Ma. Gobble, gobble, so chewy. I love its squishy insides. So next, what does Inku's father bring? A bat and Inku's mother says that bats are her favorite. And this one, Inku gobbles and says it is chewy and its insides are squishy. Ah! Inku opens her bill wide seeing a big and furry creature. Here comes a squirrel, laughs Pa. Shoop, shoop, the squirrel slides in. It tickles. So next is a squirrel and Inku opens her bill, her beak wide. She is surprised to see the squirrel because it's so big and 
a father just slides the squirrel into Inku's beak. Think how big the birds must be. The beak is bigger than a squirrel. This looks a little like us, whispers Inku. Yes, it's a small bird. A bulbul, says Pa. Kalp, kalp, all gone. Burp. So next, what comes? A bulbul, a small bird. And Pa says, this is a bird like us. And Inku gulps it down. So many hands and legs, yells Inku. It's a scorpion. Beat it against the tree to make it soft, says Ma. Dish, dash, bam. Wow, ouch, still so sharp. So next what comes for food? It's a scorpion. A scorpion is hard and it has all of these legs and it's got a stinger which is sharp and its legs have claws. They are also sharp. Are these long lizards? Asks Inku. No, these are snakes. Slurp them up, says Ma. Grinning. Oosh, oosh, oosh. The snakes disappear one by one. What fun! I think snakes are my favorite. So, what's next? Snakes, and these are the ones that Inku slurps. She sucks them in and it goes down her throat without even biting. Inku soon grows big and strong and leaves the nest. Hop, hop, hop from one branch to the next. She is so excited to explore the forest and catch her own food. So when Inku has eaten all of these things over several days, she has grown big and strong and finally she is able to leave the nest and she's excited to catch her own food. Shiny berries, slippery frogs, jumping grasshoppers. What will Inku find today? So let's read more about Inku the Great Hornbill. Meet the Great Hornbill. The Great Hornbill is India's largest hornbill. Adult Great Hornbills are three to four feet tall, almost as tall as you are. Inku's parents found a large hollow in a big sturdy tree. Ma entered it and shed some feathers because she would not be leaving the nest for almost three months. Ma and Pa then sealed the entrance, leaving only a small slit open. This is where Inku hatched from an egg. She lived in this nest for 10 to 12 weeks until she was old enough to come out. Pa hornbills are very busy during nesting because ma hornbills cannot leave the nest. Pa hornbills fly far and wide to bring a variety of tasty and nutritious food for the chick and the mother 
because they are very hungry all the time. So here is more about the great hornbill. They are very big when they are grown up, three to four feet tall. And how do they grow up? So the mother and father hornbill find a large hollow in a big tree and the mother stays inside the hollow for while the little hornbill grows up and then ma and pa close up the hole so that bigger birds other creatures that are going to eat the little baby can't get inside they completely seal the entrance leaving only a little gap open and here is where Inku, the baby, hatches from an egg. And she lived in this nest for 10 to 12 weeks. And during this time, the mother stays with the baby and the father flies around bringing food all the time because both the mother and the baby are hungry all the time. The baby needs to grow up fast. And so the father hornbill has to bring this food to them and he puts it through the hole in the nest. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are chomp, chew or bite on something, gobble, eat fast, slurp, to eat noisily, suck in something to eat, Nutritious, food that is good for you with vitamins and minerals. Great Hornbill, a large bird with a big bright colorful beak. Bulbul, a type of small bird. Scorpion, a type of small animal with claws on its front legs and a stinger on its tail. Try these questions. Describe in your own words all the things that Inku eats. What is her favorite food? What is your favorite food to eat and why? Describe how you eat it and how it feels in your mouth. 